Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you all are safe and well. In today's video, I will show you how to make stuffed chicken breasts with these delicious creamy potatoes. Enjoy! These are some of the vegetables I will be using to stuff my chicken breast with. So here I have some red bell peppers, red onions, cauliflower, broccoli, and carrot. I had seasoned with a bit of salt and now I'm going to mix it and just set it aside. This is my chicken breast that I've washed and pat dry and I've cut it in the middle but not all the way through. So to that I'm adding some of my spices. You can use whichever seasonings you like to marinate the chicken with or you can use the ones that I would list in the description box. Season the chicken well with the spices then set it aside to marinate while we get working with the other ingredients. Here I have four medium sized potatoes that I've peeled, washed and sliced into about a quarter of an inch in thickness. So to this I am adding some black pepper, salt and olive oil. I'm going to mix this well and then transfer it to a bigger baking dish. All right, it's time to stuff the chicken. So the vegetables we've prepared earlier, take some of it and put it in the middle of the chicken. Do not overcrowd it because you want the chicken to uh, seal properly. And on the vegetables, I've added some mozzarella cheese. And to secure the ends of the chicken, I am using some toothpick. However, you can use cooking tread. Once you've done this, place the chicken in your oil and let them sear on both sides. You're not looking for the chicken to be fully cooked here because it is going to be cooked all the way through once we bake them in the oven. Some of the vegetables had remained from where I stuffed my chicken with, so I just placed it into my baking dish. Once the chicken is finished searing on both sides, place it into the baking dish like this, then add milk and cooking cream. And the next step is to add some foil paper on there and place it in the oven to bake for one hour, covered with the foil paper. At 30 minutes in, I took the pan out and flipped it over so it cooks evenly on the other side. And after one hour, I had removed the fall paper and gave it 30 more minutes in the oven to bake. And once one hour and 30 minutes is up, please remove it from the oven. Make sure that the chicken is fully cooked and the potatoes and let the gravy or the liquid reduce to however thick you want it to be. This is the finished product, guys. It looks so beautiful and creamy and so tasty. I cannot wait to dig in. Well, that is all for today's video. I thank you so much for watching it and have a great day. Bye!